Alekier launched several Hall and Team ER joystick kits for different controllers. There are three models associated with Xbox controllers. X1797 is for the Xbox Elite Series 2, and X1914 is for Series S and X. They come with no calibration FPCB. They are calibrated with Xbox Accessories app. Please note, the app is not perfect. It malfunctions sometimes. The third model is for other Xbox One controllers. It comes with a Lekier Xbox Calibration FPCB. The video applies to DSE, PS for PS5, and Xbox models with a Lekier Calibration FPCB. In this video, we'll demonstrate you how to use the desoldering kit, solder the calibration FPCB, and calibrate the new joystick. See what's in the box. Different models come with different Team ER sticks. And several models come with calibration FPCB. DSE, PS4, and PS5, Xbox. These calibration FPCB share unified design and the same calibration procedures. The middle pin two of the joysticks are insulated with a blue tube. NS Pro 1, PS4, PS5, Xbox Elite 2, and Xbox Arrayus S and X come with bare Team ER sticks with no FPCB. They're planned to directly solder onto the PCB. Simple PCB holder solution included. This H-shaped metal frame is for DSE. Fold it and carefully hold the DSE PCB. Other models come with 3D printed PCB clamps. Wrap the PCB edge and carefully insert the clamps. Be careful, do not knock off small parts on the board. The CSE ID copper plate. Attach the Teflon handle onto the plate. High temperature resistant Teflon pad protects your desktop. Soldering flux tube. Multi-strand wire performs better than typical desoldering wick. Solid Teflon wire. Its diameter is 1 mm. It helps with cleaning the via and also used as a hole gauge. Screw the tube onto the copper plate. Curve the tube for easy handle. Prepare the high temp Teflon pad. Different kit comes with different PCB clamps or stand. Plastic clamps for 1.0 mm PCB. We demo the desoldering operation with Xbox kit. Do not knock off small parts and not be close to the hot stick when inserting the clamps. Rest the heating plate on the pad. By the way, this delicate solder reel dispenser was also designed by Tony the designer. Resolder all the 14 soldering joints with low temp solder. Make the joints a little bigger and add some flux on all the joints. The soldering iron should be more than 60 watt with the big tip. Set the temp at 330 to 370 degree. Apply some solder and begin to heat it up. Hold the tube and keep heating the copper plate. Lift the plate and place it on for several times to heat up the stick. Move the hot plate around to make all 14 prongs are well heated. Try to pull off the joystick little by little. Next step is to remove the solder. Apply flux on the joints. Remove the solder with the multi-gauge strand wire instead of typical solder wick. It performs better. You may need to add some solder and flux on the pad. The typical solder wick also works. Clean the PCB with the cleaning liquid. Now, the board was ready for a new stick.
Different model comes with sensors in different color. Check the tiny blue tube and the middle pin was insulated from the through via. Insert the hall stick and make sure it was aligned with the PCB. Check if the pin 2 and its blue tubes are intact with enough height. However, the blue tube must be replaced if it retreated like this. Remove the old. Insert the spare tube partially. Cut it and press it down. It's okay this time. Solder the four biggest prongs diagonally. Do not solder other 10 pins. Make sure the middle pins are well isolated. Put the flexible PCB on and make sure it was aligned with stick prongs. Solder the pad C first. Press the flexible PCB and solder the GND and VC pads to main PCB. Solder the output of Y channel to the main PCB, and then solder output of X channel. Never squeeze or puncture the blue tube, for it's easy broken. Solder the two pads on LT sensor. Leave it idle on the right joystick. Solder all the remaining prongs. Apply solder on two input pads. Remove the outer skin of the blue wire and tin the wire. Solder the wire to the input pad. YI. Pull the wire and lean it against the pin too. Solder the wire with the middle pin. Cut the wire. Solder the X channel. Now, we finished the hardware installation. Check the connections with the multimeter. X sensor inputs the signal to MCU pin 11. MCU outputs the processed signal from pin 18. The resistance of the second order RC filter is 6.6 thousand or 2000 ohm. XO of FPCB connected to the XO of main PCB. XI and XO are not short connected. Y sensor inputs the signal to MCU pin 3. MCU outputs the processed signal from pin 7. Make sure no soldering joints missing. And no missing onboard electronics components. If the problem persists after all attempts, consider that the MCU pad may be damaged due to folding or soldering. Try to solder all the 20 pins of MCU. Use a magnifying glass or camera to magnify the view. By the way, short connect the S-pad to disable the setting mode. Of course, this step is optional. Assemble all the boards and parts. Next step is to calibrate the Elekir Calibration FPCB. Open the Gamepad Tester webpage or other testing app is also okay. Fully tilt the joystick at the largest angle, and then plug in the USB cable. This is setting mode A. The dot is jumping at for poles. Now rotate the stick 3 or 4 circles at the max angle. Press the button to save the data, and then release the thumbstick cap. Do not touch it when it's reading the physical center. Unplug the USB cable to power off the controller. The setting mode initializes all the data. The calibration FPCB now outputs standard signal to the main PCB. If your controller comes with calibration app or tools, please do it right after setting mode A. Press down the button and do not release it, and then power on the controller. This is setting mode B. It shows the center of the stick. Reset it by pushing the stick up or down left or right. Press the button to confirm the new center point. The dot jumps to the first pole. Push inward to shrink the range. 
set the value to 1.0 and press down the button to save the data. It jumps to the second pole. Repeat the steps for all the four poles. Unplug the USB cable. When you see the dot keep still at the center, that's it. We finished the setting. Now, check how it works. Check the track of clockwise and counterclockwise rotation. See if it reaches the circle everywhere. Check if the center is seriously at the center. Check the fur poles to see if they reach the circle. Check how it works at 45 degrees. You can go to the setting mode B again. Add more steps after 1.0 or remove some steps on any pole to customize the outer range. The range that can be finely tuned will be helpful for some games. Plus, the accurate center setting. A new controller with Hall or TMR stick is born.